My name is Cassie, and I was diagnosed when I was 14 years old with a very rare lung disease, and that led to me having a bilateral lung transplant when I was 17 years old. I found out after having the transplant that that would affect me becoming a mother. Um, when I was 17, I wasn't so concerned about that at the time. I was concerned about being able to live and getting a second chance at life. So after I got married and spoke with my doctors, they talked to me about exploring surrogacy because they did not feel that it would be in my best interest to carry a child of my own. So my husband and I explored surrogacy. After seeing Dr. Winslow, I started to educate myself on the journey of surrogacy. And there was so much information everywhere. Um, you talk to people on the web, doctors, but the biggest thing with the beginning of starting this journey was finding the surrogate. I had a family member offer to be the surrogate and that person backed out. I had a best friend offer to be the surrogate, that person backed out. It winded up being almost a two and a half year process to find the right person and we finally did. And the girl, the woman that became our surrogate was a family friend that I had known since I was 17 years old. I wasn't really close with her but she was a family friend I saw a couple times a year. She had two kids of her own and it just came naturally to her. We got together, we went to see Dr. Winslow, we figured out what was involved for her, what was involved for me, and we found out about the legal contracts that had to be developed in order for us to go forward with this. Um, there were psychology appointments that her and I had to go to, which at that time I thought, oh, why do we have to do all this stuff? But now I can see why it all had to happen. So we finally got our surrogate ready to go. The paperwork was signed, the legal documents were signed, the psychology was checked, everything was good to go. So we started the process. Our surrogate agreed to try three times. Luckily, after one round of in vitro and one round of Clomid, we were able to get seven embryos um, and implanted one embryo with our surrogate and took the first time. So we got the call 14 days after the blood work and found out we were gonna be parents. And I remember where I was when I got the phone call and it was the best feeling of my life. Um, and it was a very, very wonderful experience. I feel like besides delivering the baby, I was there for every doctor's appointment. I was there for every sonogram. Everything she went through, I went through. I was there in the delivery room. I cut the umbilical cord to the baby. And I really feel like I didn't miss out on anything but physically delivering the baby. So I couldn't have had things go any better than it did. I truly feel that women that have underlying medical issues that might put them at risk if they carry a child of their own, I would strongly advise you to look into surrogacy because for me, it was the only way I was gonna do it. It was the only way I was going to be able to have a baby because I knew I wanted to be around and be healthy to take care of my daughter. And after all of everything we went through, the good parts, the bad parts, the hard parts, the easy parts, we have a beautiful four and a half year old little girl named Sophia who looks like Shirley Temple. She looks just like her dad, but um, she does look a lot like me and she does look a lot like my mother who is no longer living anymore so that's the, that's the bittersweet part of this whole process that she's a part of me she's a part of my husband and that was the wonderful thing about us using our own embryo that we can look at her and see 
both of us in her every day. 